Okay, this is lesson nine, adding integers. The goal for this lesson, your objective is to add integers. So you've done this before. Um, you should have done this in sixth grade math. Okay, so this is a review. And before we dive into it, these are the steps. These are written down already, but if they're not, if you're on the video, pause it. We have numbers one and two, so just watch. Pencils down right now. Pencils down. Okay, number one, we have the directions say add. Okay, so we know to add. So we're going to add, and we need to look at our two signs. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at what I'm adding. So we have an 8 here, and I know it's a positive 8. I know it's a positive 8. I'll use a different color. Positive 8. And we know that this is, we're adding positive 8 plus negative 6. Okay, so we have a, a positive number, and we have a negative number being added to it. Okay. So the next thing I'm noticing is that I have two signs next to each other. They're positive and negative sign. When we have a positive and negative sign next to each other, this really just means negative. So this is really like saying positive 8 minus 6. And now we're going to just, there are different signs. So 8 minus 6 is 2. And the bigger sign was the 8, right? Isn't 8 bigger than 6? Would you agree? Yes? So since it's bigger, then we keep the positive sign. Our answer is positive, too. Sometimes you'll have a negative sign that's bigger, and we have to keep the negative sign. Okay. So what did I just do? I identified the signs before each number. Okay. So I identified the signs before each number, and we know it's positive 8 and plus a negative 6. And then if there's two signs that are the same, then convert to one sign. The positive and negative sign is really just like saying negative. So if it's positive 8 minus 6, okay? And then we're going to combine the two numbers, same signs add, different signs subtract. Okay, so we know these are different signs, so I'm subtracting. 8 minus 6 is 2, and then the bigger sign is 8, so it's, the answer is positive 2. Okay, pretty basic, right? Wasn't that easy? Raise your hand if you thought that was easy. Okay, good. It should be easy, okay, but it's hard for a lot of students just to make, but I want to make sure you got it, okay? So here we go. Uh, number two, we have a bigger problem. We got 1 plus 4 plus negative 5 plus 3. So the first thing I'm doing is looking at all my signs. We have a positive 1 plus 4 plus a negative 5 plus 3. So we have all these signs. Step two, if there are any two signs together, then convert to one sign. So we have a positive and negative sign here. So this is really like saying minus 5. We're going to combine these two to become minus 5. So this is really like saying positive 1 plus 4 minus 5 plus 3, okay? So let's start combining these together. Positive 1 plus 4, same signs we're going to add. 1 plus 4 is 5. Keep the bigger sign, which is positive, right? Negative 5 plus 3. Negative 5 plus 3 is going to be, uh, we have different signs, so we're subtracting. 5 minus 3 is 2. Bigger sign is negative, so it's going to be negative 2. Now we have positive 5 minus 2. Different signs are subtracting. Keeping the bigger sign, the answer is positive 3. That's it. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, so if you're on that side of your rows, then you are a one. If you're on this side of your rows, you're a two. So one, one, two, two. You guys are both twos. Your partner should be here, but in, today you're going to talk to each other. Uh, you two are partners, so but um, you could talk to him, and then you could talk to these two girls. Okay, and then you're a one, and then Becca's a two. Okay, so ones are telling twos about number one. Twos are telling ones about number two. Ready, set, talk. Here we go, number three, seven plus negative eight. Okay, working together with your neighbor, figuring out what the final answer is. Just on number three, go. Negative one, so seven plus negative eight. So we have positive and negative sign makes a negative. So we got positive seven minus eight. These are different signs. So eight minus seven is one. Bigger sign is eight, so it's a negative one. Okay, number two, or four, I'm sorry. Negative six plus three, go. Number five, we have negative four plus a negative six. <coughs> positive and negative becomes negative, so negative four minus six again. Same sign, so we add them, so we got ten. Bigger signs of six, so it's negative ten. Okay? Number six, go. Okay, the answer to this one, positive six, so we got negative three plus two is going to be different signs we're going to Subtract 3 minus 2 is 1, but the bigger sign is negative, so we have negative 1 plus 7. Again, two different signs, negative 1 plus 7. We have different signs subtract. 7 minus 1 is 6, and then we have the positive sign is bigger, so the answer is positive 6. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so all I'd like you to do is double-click on your iPads, shut off to Siri, 
and click it off, the screen off, put it face down on your desk, and you're going to answer the following questions. Ready, set, go.